Hey, how's going on y'all? Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can fix all kind of crashes, lags and black screen issues in the new Spider-Man 2. I hope this guide helps you so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Okay, first step over here that we have is Windows settings and for that search for settings on your PC and uh, once you're over here, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. This will disable all kind of overlays running on your game and this will help you to fix your crashing issues if that might be causing it. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and then graphics right over here and then click on change default graphics settings and enable optimizations for windowed games as well as hardware accident GPU scheduling. This will help you to utilize your primary GPU to render the game. What you have to do is go to the browse button and then go to the download location of your game. My game is right over here so I'll simply select Spider-Man 2 and click on add. Once that is added, click on options and then you'll find power saving in high performance. Now if you click on let windows decide, it might be using your CPU based graphic card that is your internal graphics card. But if you set on a high performance, it will 100% use your main graphic card that is your physical graphic card. What you have to do is simply click on save button that should be it. Simply close it. Next step is a launch option settings and for that what you have to do is simply go to the download location of your game and once you're in the folder what you have to do is right click on the empty area and then click on new and then you have to select text document. Name it command line.txt and click double click to open it up. Once you're here what you have to type in is hyphen dx11 and then click on save. Once that is done you can simply close this window out. Once you're done with that simply scroll down and then find spiderman2.exe right click on this file and head over to its properties head over to compatibility and then click on run this program compatibility mode for windows 8 then disable full screen optimization and run this program as administrator just to ensure that your pc is utilizing majority of your resources to render the game once that is done click on change high dpi settings enable this option right over here click on ok and apply these settings once that is done simply open up spiderman 2.exe now the launcher will be running in the administrative mode what you have to do is click on settings right over here and then select your display monitor as your native monitor window mode should be exclusive full screen display resolution initially i would recommend you guys to start with the lowest resolution possible for your monitor this will ensure that the game can at least open and not crash aspect ratio should be automatically set upscaling method now majority of the crashes happen because of the upscaling method right over here initially it might be set to dlss in the launcher if you have an nvidia based graphic card but i would recommend you guys to start your game using it off and the anti-aliasing on TAA. this is compatible with all kind of graphic cards internally you guys can change it again but for now you guys have to set this thing to taa nvidia reflex low latency go with on plus boost if that is available for you frame generation should be set to off for now because this might also lead to crashing of your games dynamic resolution scaling you're gonna have to set this thing to 60 and refresh rate and vsync you guys can have it off and uh, refresh it should be the highest available for your monitor then head down to graphics over here and for the preset go with very low just so ensure that your game at least opens up disable all kind of effects right over here and then click on ok and you guys can see that now my game at least opens up don't worry we're going to fix this all blocky things right away okay now once the game is opened up you want to have to head on to all settings and then you want to have to display and graphics right over here you have to increase your display resolution to somewhat that is compatible with your monitor now 1920 by 1080 is compatible with my monitor so i have to set that and then simply press on spacebar so that you guys can see it clearly now the FPS has dropped a lot. We're going to fix that right away. Scroll a bit down and frame generation set it to FSR 3.1.0. Upscaling method. If you have an NVIDIA based graphic card, go with DLSS and dynamic resolution scaling that this value should be fine. Then head over to your graphic settings and then for the texture quality, go with medium. For texture filtering, go with 2x anisotropic. Shadow quality, go with very low. Ambient occlusion off. Screen space reflections off as well. Ray tracings of all kinds should be set to off. Level of detail, you guys can go with medium. Traffic density and crowd density can be set to low because these are FPS effectors. Hair quality doesn't really matter a lot so you guys can set it to very low and weather particle quality you guys can set it to low depth of field bloom and chromatic abrasion for depth of field you guys can keep it off bloom you guys can turn it on chromatic abrasion can be turned on vignette can also be turned on 
Now FOV is a personal preference. Filmic grain strength, I don't recommend you guys to set it anywhere higher. So it's according to you. You guys can set it to one or two. Full screen effects should be turned off and screen shake should also be turned off. Once that is done, simply press space bar to apply and accept these things. Now you guys can see that I am instantly gaining a lot more FPS than I was getting earlier. Now if you guys can click on continue, you guys can now continue with the game with the best FPS possible. But if this doesn't work, we have a lot of more solutions for you guys. Okay, so if that didn't work for you, we have some more solutions for you right up the sleeves. The first one being updating your graphic card drivers and for this if you have an AMD graphic card you guys can go to AMD drivers just simply google it and then go to the first page that is driver and support for processor and graphics simply download the windows drivers for yourself and it will auto update your drivers once again if you have an Nvidia graphic card you guys can go with GeForce experience so simply type in uh, GeForce uh, experience right over here and download the GeForce experience app or the Nvidia app now once once you open it up, head down to the drivers section and then you guys can see the new game ready driver is already there to install. You can simply download it and install it on your PC, restart it once and see if this fixes your issues. Next step is verifying your RAM usage and for that simply press Control, shift and escape together and this will open up task manager in front of you. Right over here you'll find something called memory. Click on that and see the applications which are consuming most of your memory right over here. For me it is my Google Chrome and my Streamlabs that is recording this video right now. But other than that there are not a lot of applications which are consuming a lot of memory. But if you find any application which is consuming a lot of your RAM while in the background be it any browser or any other application not any Windows services you guys can simply right click on that and then click on end task so you have a little bit of of more memory right up your sleeves. Next step is Spider-Man 2 Crash Fix Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Once you open it up, you'll find in four simple folders. Let's start with the first one because it is really important. This will help you to fix all of your black screen issues, game crashing, and any outdated drivers which might be causing this issue. First one is the Visual C runtime. You'll find a lot of runtimes right over here which are recently updated to the latest version. You can simply right click on the install all bat and run this as administrator. Now this will start running all of the executables right over here on these packages and this will help you to fix any kind of outdated drivers which might be causing these crashing issues. Let it run in the background. The second step over here is updating DirectX. DirectX is definitely used while rendering your games and this is a very important service to run this game. Simply right click and run this as administrator and this will take you to the DirectX setup page. Simply click on I accept the agreement and then click on next. Then uncheck the install Bing bar and then click on next and install DirectX latest version right onto your PC. All of the files that I have provided here are the latest files updated by Windows. Third one is clean cache tool which helps you to clean temporary files off of your PC. Simply right click and run this as administrator and this will ask you to delete all temporary files off of your PC. Simply press on any keyboard button and then it will start deleting all of those temporary files. It is safe to do that and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Last one is the Spider-Man priority in which I have left the high priority registry. This will set up the correct dword value for your CPU class which will help you to run this game more smoothly. You can simply double click to run this high priority to ensure that your game is running smoothly. Once all of that is done, simply close it. If all of that didn't work out and your game is still crashing, here are a few more steps that can help you. First one is updating Windows. Head over to settings and then go to the last option that is Windows update. Click on check for updates over here and download any kind of possible update that might bring stability to your Windows. Windows keeps on bringing new updates that can help you to stabilize your system. If any of those updates are pending, high chances are that it might be causing the crashing of your games. In my case, I have a security intelligence update for Microsoft Defender antivirus pending. This could be a possible cause of the game crashing. So simply download it, install it and restart your PC. One last step if nothing works is improving your virtual memory and deanimating windows. For that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here select on custom then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. Except these you wanna have every single one of them disabled right over here. This will disable all kind of animations on your windows and while this process might not give you extra 
extra FPS, this might improve the performance of your Windows slightly. Next, head over to the Advanced tab and right over here, you'll find Virtual Memory. Click on the Change button and then deselect Automatically Manage Paging File Size. For Custom Size, set this thing to 1361 and for the Maximum Size, open up your Calculator. Now, right over here, you have to multiply your RAM, that is 32GB for me, with 1024. This new value should be divided by 2 and this value should be pasted in the Maximum Size. Once that is done, click on Set, click on OK and now you guys have perfectly set up your virtual memory. A virtual memory is a concept of using your hard disk drive or your SSD as your virtual RAM if your RAM is completely occupied in the game. This gives you a bit of headroom for your games to perform better. Simply click on OK. Now, these are all of the steps that might help you to fix your black screen issues, crashing issues and a lot more. Once again, if you guys are suffering from any kind of FPS issues, I have already made a Spider-Man 2 best settings guide and I am going to be soon working on a Spider-Man 2 best anti-aliasing method for you guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss those videos. That is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button since it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll meet you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.